yes now it was connected let me check what are the tables here select star from tab so some tables are there let me take employee DEPT table or otherwise company details product details whatever it is let me check what are the company details DESC COMP details company code company name country <coughs> and product details is also there let me check what is the data from company details select start from company details no rows are there I think we have implemented this for physical relation ok let me take the data from EMP and DEPT what are the EMP data from EMP table I am selecting like this select E name comma salary comma job and department number DEPT NO from EMP these are the details from EMP table now let me check what are the details from DEPT table select star from DEPT these are the details from DEPT table I want to display just I am applying cross join between these two tables employee name with job department number and department name employee name with job department number and department name ok so select employee name and sell job of employee character data from EMP table and one number type value from DEPT and one character type values from DEPT from EMP comma DEPT it raise error message what is the problem there is a common column in the selection so column ambiguously defined column ambiguously defined the problem is common column is there in such cases you should select common column by using table name dot column name DEPT dot DEPT and go. hit enter now it is generating output but invalid combinations are there 56 rows selected totally what is the problem here 14 employees are there 4 departments are there so 14 into 4 56 combinations all employees see first 14 employees mapped with accounting again 14 employees mapped with 20th department and again 14 employees mapped with 30th department so this is cross join which is displaying valid combination as well as invalid combination of data from multiple tables now see let me justify my answer same query I am selecting department number value from EMP table also EMP dot DEPT and go similarly DEPT dot DEPT and go see here you can easily identify your answer is valid or invalid see actually employee name or job or department number this is from EMP table this is from DAPT table you are displaying combination of data from EMP DAPT what is the actual department number of uh, Smith 20 but you are combinating with this 10 that's invalid combination next LN employee department number is 30 but here it is displaying with 10 wrong here according to physical data what is working under 30 but it is saying what is working under 10 that is wrong so if the department number of employee and respect to department number from DEPT if both are equal then it is valid if both are not equal it is invalid so cross join will display valid combination of data say here 10 10 this is valid combination and here 10 10 valid combination along with invalid combination of data 
this invalid combination of data is controlled by using equijoin yeah here i am writing the query with table name dot so and so table name dot so and so instead of table name you can also use alias names how should i see here let me remove table name dot scenarios yes removed here also let me remove now <coughs> e dot e name next e dot job and d e dot department number here d dot department number and similarly d dot department name from emp e comma dapt d right now you will get the same output these e and d are alias names for the table employee and department respectively okay hit enter same combinations it will display what are these alias names these alias names are temporary alias names temporary alias names are valid only for current query in the next query if you want to use the same alias names again specify same alias names after table names remember that but you can also create alias name permanent alias name by using synonyms concept in the further sessions we will discuss about it and one more point is what is alias name alias name is a temporary short name for the table temporary short name for the table okay what is happening internally for each alias name oracle engine internally maintains a copy of table data a copy of table data now see <coughs> so this is what cross join then how can i write a cross join query to display valid output so before that listen carefully and see let me check what are the tables here select star from tab so this is the data and here i want to create a new table create table discount so under this discount id dis id so it's a character of 2 character of 2 comma discount name dis name this is varchar 2 of 20 and discount amount means a discount value dis percentage this is also varchar 2 of uh, uh, 10 not discount uh, okay so yeah let me change the column names here not discount why because products are not there here so let me take it as increment table so how can i rename a table rename table the table name is a discount space with incr so invalid table name yeah rename discount with incr or otherwise let me create so let me create another table create table so instead of that increment table incr id it's a character of increment id that is 3 comma incr name here varchar 2 of 20 and incr value this is varchar 2 of 10 so let me take these two that is better increment table is created insert the records insert into incr values increment id inc1 okay there we have only okay i1 comma increment name 
so minimum increment minimum increment and increment value 5 percent is the increment value one row created now let me create second row increment 2 so here second increment second increment or second level increment whatever it is i2 let us say second level increment okay and this is 10 percent next third level increment this is third third level increment here 20 percent okay okay let me take only three records committed now i want to display manager names manager names salary manager name salary job department okay manager name salary with job name and also with the third level increment again i am repeating apply third level increment for all managers or display third level increment for all managers select e dot e name comma e dot salary comma e dot job comma i dot star from <coughs> emp e comma i incr i where what are the conditions only take manager data where job equal to manager and i dot incr id means i dot incr id is equal to third level increment you are saying so i3 finish run it you will get for all managers manager 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 getting three records from one table all three records are mapped with only one record in the second table so you are applying third level increment for all managers is it displaying third level increment for all managers or not yes in this case many records from one table mapped with one record in other table in such cases cross join will display valid combination of data now what is equijoin so in other cases in many to many cases one to many cases and one to one cases how can i get valid combination of data by using equijoin display employee names and respect to department names display employee names and respect to department names okay select employee names you are selecting from emp table and department name you are selecting from dept table okay select d name from emp e comma dept d where before displaying the combination verify join condition what is join condition e dot department number equal to d dot department number for each employee it is displaying only one department it is not mapping with multiple records so i can say this is called as a valid combination of data from multiple tables there is no invalid combination how can i justify my answer it's a very simple say i am selecting respect to employee department number e dot dept and o and also department number from dept table also d dot dept and o now run it say here each employee department number see the first employee department number 20 that is matched with department number in dept second employee department number 30 that is matched with department number in 30 so every employee department number 
is matched with respect to department's department number. That's why it is called as matched data. Okay, only valid combination of data from multiple tables. There is no invalid combination of data. Remember this. Okay, now <coughs> I want to see manager details and respect to department details. Okay, select e dot star comma d dot star or otherwise you can use all columns data from emp table all column data from dept table from what are the tables emp e comma dept d where what is the condition you are requesting about only managers data and respect to department data only manager data means e dot job is equal to manager don't specify filter condition after join condition first filter condition then I am specifying join condition what is the common column between two tables e dot department number is equal to d dot department number first it will filter the manager data only manager records for only manager records it will verify respect to department number equal to department number in two tables say here manager, manager manager so one manager working under research one manager working under sales one manager working under accounting and you can verify say department number department number so this department number you are taking from EMP table this department number you are taking from DEPT table both are equal in each case this is it is a good practice to specify filter conditions first later join conditions okay now <coughs> this is what about equi join right now let me explain about next two types of joins inner join and self join inner join almost similar it is similar to equi join but some way of writing is different i will explain please hold on that's all for this session in the next session you can see inner join and self join yeah